communication. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the poly, the poly tower news, I know you were super excited. And that's probably the reason why the internet went out because you were so excited <laughs> about the poly tower news <laughs> that you, uh, you, you fried the internet on your end there, but, uh, Sorry. It, ser- seriously, though, I, it, it looks like you've got some um, some interesting information here regarding um, the booking windows and some of the uh, the contracts that are available. So why don't you yeah. fill us in on that? So, you know, over the past couple of months, people have been talking. Is the Polynesian Tower going to be its own contract with its own points or are they going to merge it? into the existing contract that is currently at the Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. Well, we got that answer. Uh, At the December 8th condo meeting at the Walt Disney World Resort regarding the Disney Vacation Club, they announced, DVC, that the new Polynesian Tower will be part of the current contract at the Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. Now, for some of you out there, you might ask yourself, what does that mean? What that means is, is that if, say, Walter owned a contract at the Poly and had the 11 11 month booking window, Walter would now have the ability to book the tower as well at the 11 month booking window, which is a, a big plus, especially if you're looking for, you know, a one bedroom, a two bedroom, et cetera, that you currently can't get at the Poly. Now, a lot of people are happy about that. But I have seen some current owners are a little worried because now you're going to have more points, which means more people now bidding on rooms at the poly, which could make it more difficult in the future to, we'll see, time is going to tell. So, And the only other news that came out, Walt, uh, no pricing yet. Uh, We don't know when uh, um, it's going to go on sale. And the only thing they reiterated was that it is still projected to open in late 2024. That's it. Okay. Um, yeah. So do you think you think you're going to get that online by say Labor Day of next year, or or probably later? For oh, man, you mean for uh, uh, for sales? For sales, yeah. I would say it'd even be sooner. Wouldn't you want it sooner than that? But who knows? Yeah, I mean, you would. Who think knows so. what they're thinking? Because look at the cabins so, but... are opening, yeah, in summer 24. They're not up for sale yet either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a so... little strange. And and as you've pointed out in the past, um, there's definitely a lag in, in some of the new resort sales. Like, for example, with the Riviera, where that still hasn't sold out. So um, you would think that that as an example, that they would, they would want to jump on, um, you know, on this right away and put it out there you know, and and try to get, you know, people interested in it. But, you know, like you said, who knows? Um, Yeah, like, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. Just just put it up for sale and let's start selling it already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Well, we'll see. I mean, I know people are excited about it. Some people who own there are excited about it. Um, You know, I I really don't have a, a huge opinion on it other than the fact that I just don't think it fits there. But we've we've talked about that when it first when they first announced the construction. Um, I just think it looks too much like like a typical uh, franchise resort hotel anywhere that's else. That's right on the water. Yeah. That's right on the water. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't evoke that Disney Vacation Club feel that a lot of places do. Mm-hmm. So you know, hey, like you said, we'll see what happens. Uh... 